Hi all, welcome to ONCE. Uh, in today's session, we will be dealing with voltage classification and the clearances required as per IE rules 1956. Okay, so we are going to classify voltages as low, medium, high and extra high voltage. Low voltage is 0 to 250 volt and high voltage, uh, sorry, medium voltage is 250 to 650 volt. Okay, then high voltage is 650 volt to 33 kV and greater than 33 kV we classify it as extra high voltage. Okay, so this is the base of the exams. We have to look at the conductors along the street, across the street and the ground clearance depending on the voltage classification. So, clearance is above ground of the lowest conductor as per IE rules 1956. So, across the street, across the street in the if suppose this is the street along a road where the vehicles travel, okay. If there is an electric pole and if there is an electric pole and if there is a line crossing like this across the road, this line from the ground according to the voltage levels. For low and medium voltages across the street, the ground clearance should be at least 5.8 meters. For high voltages, it should be at least 6.1 meters. Either then, if the lines are along the street, along the street, in the rainbow, along the street in the rainbow, if this is the street, here is a pole, here is a pole. Along the street, with respect to ground, ground clearance should be at least 5.5 meters for low and medium voltages and for high voltages, it should be at least 5.8 meters. So, we will say across the street and along the street. This is all the conditions. We will say that the conductors have ground clearance. If the conductors are bare, that is the insulation only length, for low, medium and high voltages up to 11 kV, the ground clearance should be at least 4.6 meters. Okay. If the conductors are insulated, low, medium and high voltages up to 11 kV, if the conductors are insulated, the ground clearance should be 4 meters. That is the bare conductors, na, ground clearance is more compared to insulated conductors. And for high voltages above 11 kV, the ground clearance should be 5.2 meters. Okay. So, for extra high voltages, for every 33 kV addition, 0.3 meter, that is 1 foot which is ground clearance. So, 5.2 meter, 66 kV, 5.2 plus 0 0.3, 5.5 meter. And either across the street, along the street, all the condition. With respect to buildings, okay, we have a line the from the roof to the lowest conductor, the height uh, should be at least 2.5 meters. That is suppose this is a building, this line E distance, it should be at least 2.5 meters. Similarly, adjacent to the building, we building here. E side e line bone and e distance the at least 1.2 meter. Okay. So above the roof from the to the lowest conductor it is at least 2.5 meters, and along the building where the adjacent distance it should be at least 1.2 meters. So this is the main item and this is summarize the uh, that is as per IE rules 1956, number ground clearances for uh, the various lines are uh, either across the street and low and medium voltages na, it should be 5.8 meters. For high voltages it is 6.1 meters and uh, along the street and for low and vol uh, medium voltages na, it should be 5.5 meters and for high voltages it should be 5.8 meters. And with respect to buildings. Buildings in the uh, roof, the topmost point of our roof and the lowest conductor in the uh, distance, in the rain, it should be 2.5 meters at least. And uh, adjacent to the building lines passing in the horizontal distance, it should be at least 1.2 meters. These 
ഈ സെഷൻസ് ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻ്റ് ആണ് ഇവൻ ഇൻ തിയറി എക്സാംസ് ഇറ്റ് ഇസ് ബീൻ ആസ്റ്റ് അപ്പൊ എന്തായാലും ഇന്റർവ്യൂന് ഇതിനൊരു വെയിറ്റ് എസ്പെഷ്യലി ഫോർ സബ് എഞ്ചിനീയർ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അങ്ങനത്തെ ഇന്റർവ്യൂസിന് ഇറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഹെൽപ്ഫുൾ ഇഫ് യു നോ ഓൾ ദീസ് തിങ്